This podcast is for you, the modern man. I'm Dr. Ann Trung, your host. I'm an intimate health medical doctor and best-selling author of the book, Erectile Dysfunction Fix. I'll do a deep dive into sexual health and performance and how it affects men of all ages and backgrounds. So let's get started and be sure to visit my website at sexualhealthformenpodcast.com for more information and resources from the show. See you on the inside. What is the common normal penis size? Most men believe that the average length of an erect penis is greater than 6 inches. This belief is due in part to several often cited studies that rely on self-reported measurement, which means that about 6.2 inches for heterosexual men and even greater for gay men. So these studies suffer from both volunteer bias and social desirability bias. In this review of 21 studies, they found the average length of an erect penis is 5.1 inches. In another study that looked at 15,000 men, the average measurement of a man's penis in a flaccid length is 3.61 inches, and a erect penis is 5.1 inches. And for a flaccid penis girth is 3.66 inches, and for an erect penis is 4.59 inches. The length of a penis when flaccid was not a predictor of its length when erect. So how do you measure your penis size? Well, you measure the length from the top of the penis to the tip of the gland. So the top of the penis is where it connects to your pubic bone, and the tip of your glands is the round part at the end of your penis. Now, make sure you compress any fat in front of the pubic bone when measuring. Also, don't include additional length related to the foreskin. Measure the girth around the base or the middle of the shaft. The decision to try to increase the size of your penis should be made carefully with a consultation with a urologist or with a sexual health expert. The Journal of Urology study recommends that only men with a flaccid penis length of less than 1.6 inches or an erect penis of less than 3 inches should be considered a candidate for penile lengthening surgery. However, the penile lengthening surgery is very risky. Bigger is better sticks in the head of many men worldwide. 45% of men reported being unsatisfied with their penis size. Women feel more excitement if their vagina is optimally stretched because the main nerve supply of the vagina is found in its lower third. The length of the penis appears to matter less than the girth during intercourse. So the decision of a man's penis size is very, very personal. It's like a woman having breast implant. It is very personal as well. Studies show that a majority of men wish they were larger, some opting for surgery. So these surgeries are considered so risky that only considered as the last resort. However, of note, many men seeking surgery have normal-sized penises. Luckily, there is a safe non-surgical option to enlarge the penis and the glands. It is only effective for enlarging girth. Penile enlargement is a procedure where the girth is enlarged by injecting the penis shaft and the gland with a polyacrylamide filler or PLLA filler and PRP, or platelet-rich plasma, I talk about this in episode 7, which is really your blood, is injected in addition to the filler, and you also do the P-shot as well. This procedure will increase girth by about 30 to 40 percent 
and the size increase lasts for about two years. The glands or the tip of the penis can be around enlarged by around 30 to 40 percent with hyaluronic acid filler injection and also PRP. This method makes it more aesthetically pleasing and it's also a treatment for premature ejaculation. How is that? You get immediate result and you can have sex by about three days. Not only does this procedure can enlarge the penis, but can also treat ED and improve your performance altogether. There are some tips for positive body image. Maintain a healthy weight and incorporate strength training like high intensity exercises into your routine. Losing fat around the pubic area makes the penis can look longer. If you look healthy and feel fit, you may feel better about yourself. Don't become consumed by the penis size. You can be a satisfying sexual partner regardless of the size of your penis. Don't compare yourself to others in movies and social media. Lasting self-esteem come from non-physical traits such as creativity, intelligence, and your value. I'll see you in the next episode.